Now for the bad. You know, the bad is a lot of requests that I receive for tips on how to meet women and where to meet women over here. Now, as far as where to meet women, you know, I can kind of understand that because the new guy who's never been here, he, he wouldn't know, okay? But as far as how to meet women, look, and I'm going to give you the nitty gritty. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. If you're 40, 50, 60, 70 years old and you need tips on how to meet a woman, man, I can't help you, okay? Uh, I think what we do is we listen to a lot of these fairy tales from other guys who've been over here and these hyped up stories and man we give this dating scene over here far too much credit than it deserves okay I found this works just being a decent human being okay because most of the advice that you're gonna get is only gonna be how to meet the woman it doesn't tell you anything about once you meet her, how to treat her and everything like that. They're just going to tell you you how to meet her. And I just want to let you know, man, Filipinas are not from out of space. They're not aliens. They're just regular women. You know, the mystique of the Filipina is not how you meet her. It's once you meet her. See, that's the mystique. And... You know, there's many ways that they'll tell you how to meet the woman. You know, they'll say go online, which is what I did. But I wouldn't suggest that anymore, okay? And I'm going to tell you why, because it's not the same anymore. You know, you, there's good people on there, but it's going to be hard for you really to, to get a match. Okay, if you want to hook up, that's something totally different, but... If you're really serious about meeting somebody, man, just come on over here. Do yourself a favor and come over here, okay? I already have your hotel reservations and all of that taken care of. And, you know, just come over here and go about your business as you normally would. If you're going to the beach, if you're going to the mall, you know, you're going to the grocery store, whatever. And then, if you see somebody that you're attracted to, and I don't care how shy you are. Listen to me, man. I'm telling you the truth because nobody's more bashful than me when it comes to women. Just be polite. Introduce yourself. Ask them for their number or offer you, offer them your number. But it's that simple. You know, you don't have to do all this other stuff. You don't have to uh, turn flips, you know, jump through hoops, and you know, and basically become a clown to you know, to meet an attractive, nice lady over here, man. You know, I, this is one of those subjects, man, that I just won't really deal with on my channel, man, because it's really cringeworthy to me. You know, uh, we just give this dating scene over here far, far too much credit, man. It's a lot better over here than it is at home. You know, just be a clean, decent human being. And that's all you have to do. If you strike out, so what? Try again. I guarantee you, by the time you meet 10 people, just being polite, introducing yourself, asking for their number or offering them their your number, you're going to you're going to get somebody that's interested, okay? And you know, let that be that because the mystique is not in meeting the woman. The mystique is once you meet her. See, that's when the Filipina becomes who she's uh world renowned to be okay it's, it's not you know meeting her okay it's once you once y'all together because and i'm gonna tell you as an american you don't have anything to be worried about anyway because filipinos and americans man we're twin flames man you know and i argue about this with anybody you know we got so much in common and i don't know how you know we're both old-fashioned okay the, the american man wants to be in charge he wants to be in the lead you know, and the Filipino woman, she's she knows her role. She don't have a problem playing the wife, playing the role, looking to you to make the decisions and all of that. See, I talked about that on another a video before. See, that's one way. Another way is we both feel unappreciated. You know, man, there's an assault on the American man over in America if you've been paying attention. 
These feminist movements, man, they've gotten powerful, man. Women over there really believe that they don't need us. You know, if they want to have a baby, hey, I'll give you a call. Other than that, stay the F away from me. That's their attitude. I got my own money. I got my own job. I pay my own bills. I got my own car. I don't need you for anything. And I already told you how the Filipino feels. She feels unappreciated. Man, I'm going to tell you something. They wear a lot of hats over here. And when they do work, their money's not for them. Their money goes to take care of their family or send one of their uh, nieces, our sisters and brothers to college, man, you know, they feel unappreciated. You know, they work their fingers to the bone, to exhaustion, okay? That's, that's you know, two. And, you know, and number three, we're low maintenance. We're low maintenance, man, you know. With American men, look, if you're Filipino and you listening, here's what we want. Peace, leave us alone. You know, we come home from work. We don't need you nagging and all that, okay? Okay? If we fail and fall short, you know, give us give us credit for trying. But don't nag us. If we want to go out every now and then, shoot pool with the boys or something like that, have a few drinks, okay, let us have that, okay? That's the first thing you do. The second thing you do is make love to your man, okay? Please your man, okay? I mean, and do it passionately. And do it often okay because see a lot of us men especially american men we can't express our feelings through our words but we can express it when we touch you when we kiss you when we make love to you see okay and number three feed us cook us a good meal okay and if you don't know how to cook you better start learning how to cook if you want to keep an american man you know we don't like to eat out all the time that's okay, but we get home from work or wherever, you know, we want a good home-cooked meal. So that's it. You know, we're low-maintenance. You know, I'm with the Filipina. Guys, let me tell you something. When you meet her, there's going to be certain things she's going to need, okay? But you don't have to worry about buying her a fur coat. You don't have to worry about buying her a big old three or four or five curve ring. You understand that? Or one of those fancy purses. Because I made that mistake. You know, I bought my wife a $300 Michael Kors purse. And don't you know where the purse is now? It's over her mother's house in Zamboanga, upstairs, and they're using it as a storage unit. They got clothes inside of it, a $300 purse. But they're low maintenance. They just want you to give them the love and the respect that they deserve and that they've been looking for their whole life, see? That's all they want. They're very low maintenance. Yeah, they like to go out. They like the movies. You know, they like to go out to eat. You know, because on Sunday over here, it's like the family day. You know, everything shut down. You know, they, they you know, it's, it's for the family. You're not going to get in touch with anybody on Sunday here. And that's why I tell you that she got that thick culture. You know, but that's what she wants. So we're both low maintenance. So we're two in flames. So if you're an American man, man, that's the least of your worries is trying to find a woman when you get over here, all right? So get that out of your mind, man. I don't like to spend a lot of time talking about that. It's cringy, man.